What is up everyone? So today I'm bringing you guys another wonderful cluster jewel crafting video. It is very simple to do and it's very similar to the one before. We're going to be crafting medium cluster jewels, but instead of, of bull builds, we're going to be crafting for builds that use chaos damage such as impending doom. As usual, you can see in the background the footage of me buying the base for the cluster jewels. They are usually around 5 chaos. What we are looking for this time is 4 or 5 passive skill medium cluster jewels that grants 12% increased chaos damage over time. And we will also need an item level above 50. Let's head to Craft of Exile and I'm going to show you exactly what we need. So first we're going to pick up uh, medium cluster jewels here with chaos damage over time. And the mods we're looking for is going to be Brute for Potency, Circling the uh, Oblivion, uh, Septic Spells, and finally... Where is it? Uh, uh, Wasting Affliction. These are the ones that I sell the most, and they're also the fastest to sell. The other combinations can be sold, but really slowly. Therefore, I do not recommend the other combinations. Okay, here it is. I have bought 15 cluster jewels. Like I said before, uh, I acquired them for around 5 chaos each. Before we start the crafting, just let's double check that they're all rare. I'm not up to and they have yet. 4 to 5 passive with chaos damage over time. Okay, I have double checked everything and we can start crafting. This time we're going to use the blue juice and it costs uh, 75 per try, which is around 1 to 1.5 chaos currently. We're doing Reforge Caster because it guarantees this, the mod Septic Spells since it has a tag of casters on it. All we need to do is spam the Reforge Caster until we have the combination of the mods that I mentioned previously, which is Brute for Potency, Circling Oblivion, and Wasting Affliction. It should be noted that Wasting Affliction needs an item level over 68. But it doesn't really matter because uh, from my experience, the one we're selling the most is going to be Circling Oblivion and Brute for Potency. I believe these two are for um, Poison con Concoction builds and Impending Doom builds. The chance for us hitting one of the uh, combination that I mentioned previously is 1 in 11. So it takes about 12 chaos uh, to hit a cluster jewels that we can sell. And the cluster jewels sells uh, between 40 chaos to 60 chaos and have sold some in insane ones for two divines. I'm just gonna let the footage roll out and you guys can look at how I craft them. And for this recording, I have also turned on the overlay. This way, uh, when you see uh, at the end of the craft, uh, you can see how I um, check the price of each of the cluster jewels. I will also have a timestamp. You can skip ahead to see the results. In this recording session, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've also kept, kept the mods Wicked Paul, but with further testing, it really sells, it re sells really, really slowly, so I would not recommend. And I, from now on, I would just roll over it. Oh, someone messaged me for a cluster jewel, uh, so we're gonna have a total of 16 clusters.
okay, I have finished crafting all of them. And as you can see, I'm gonna check the price. I'm gonna put four to five passive, septic spells brewed for potency. And as you can see, it sells a minimum 50 chaos. And we add some mods such as chaos resistance and all resistance. It can go up to 70 or 80 chaos. I just look over all of them that which has chaos resistance or high uh, attributes and put them aside because they will sell at a premium, maybe 20 to 30 chaos more. As for Wicked Paul, I would not suggest uh, keeping them anymore because after some testing, they're selling really, really slowly. And I don't, I don't think they're worth the time. So just roll over them until you hit the other three mods. But if you want to recover some of the cost, uh, you can keep them and try to sell them as well. Here for Wasting Affliction, it, as you can see, it has it can sell for 60 chaos and uh, with some special mods maybe up to a divine but uh, from my experience you i generally just sell it for 60 to 70 chaos and for septic spells and circling oblivion as you can see it sells for around 40 to 50 chaos and with some special mods it can go up to two divine and i will go over the ones that are really good uh, after i priced all of them and the, the way that I sell them is right now uh, to be more efficient is just I just put all of the average ones in a tab and then uh, all the premium ones uh, in another tab and price them all at once. Okay, let's take a look at the spreadsheet that everybody loves. First, we have the base cost of 5 chaos and uh, the reforged caster cost around 1 chaos. And it takes around 11 tries to hit the mod that we want. I did a simulation in Craft of Exile uh, for all the combinations and it takes around 11 tries. Now I'm going to show you the some of the good ones that I sold. Here we go. So as you can see here, we have two divines, uh, the one with high attributes. This one has some chaos damage over time, chaos resist. The reason why people are looking for attributes is because they want to satisfy their strength, dex, or int requirement. Similarly, people are looking at chaos resistance because it's just a good thing to have. You guys can look through the examples that I have here and look at how much I sold them for. But as always, you should check the margins yourself and uh, check the profitability of the craft since the market is always changing. Here on the side, I have included some of the screenshot of the other possible combinations. They all can be sold, but it just takes a really, really long time. They can be sold for 20 to 30 chaos, but I don't think they are worth it. And you should just roll over them. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If this is the first video you've seen, you can also check out my other video about bulk clusters that can help you make some good profit as well.